What's up guys? This is the video where I mix the marinated the meat for 48 hours and longer. So I'm going to show you how to uh, like bake it, barbecue it, grill it, however you like. So here we go. I'm just at the side right now. So we put some EVO olive oil in there. That's your virgin olive oil. I'm just pouring it on my tray. Grease it. You don't to cook anything. I got two trays here. So, if you guys can't hear me, that I'm not using a mic. So just bear with me. So I just said I poured some in there. Just a bit. See? I have two trays. So I'm just going to like rub it all around. Put a little bit more in there. Just grab this. So you don't want your pan, the meat, to stick to the pan. Right. So. so just rub it right through. Two pans. See? Rubbing it. Don't worry if you overdo it. But all the oil is not it's good for you. So it's not that it's not gonna hurt you anymore. Anyway. So, while I did that, now I have my thing, whatever marinade sauce I made. So I had it in here um, 40, a couple days ago. So I'm just gonna dip it. And put the meat right in there in the pan. Just don't want my wire when I lock up the So you just want to hit it like that. So when I'm done putting the meat, I'll show you how it's done. Like if you're having a dinner party or if you're having like people coming over to your house, cook this, you can bake it, you can barbecue it, you can steam it, you can put it on the grill, you know, you can put, put it in a frying pan, whatever you have, right? So. I use soy sauce, ginger, garlic, and Thai chili, fresh chilies. I use probably like six, seven of them because I like the spice and the heat. And I use black pepper and I use Italian herbs. Right? You can use like any mixer, like any seasoning, like barbecue seasoning, you know? Any seasoning, like anything dry or liquid. You can freestyle it. You could like do it at home, whatever flavors you like. These days you could buy anything from like any store, superstore, Walmart. Like things are already made for you, right? Like sauces are in the bottle, you could use that. Or you could just do it yourself. Maybe. Learn how to like, learn how to cook, right? How to mix things. This is how it looks like. This is one tray. You have to line it up properly, right? So. I'm going to put that there for a while. And we're going to go to my second tray. If you don't have the tray, you could like put in the wrap foil paper, just wrap it up a few times and just use whatever, like, if you have a lid like this, you could use that and put it over a foil paper, right? If you don't have any trays at home, like, you don't have to go spend your money to buy it. So, 
I hope two trays will be good. Do you think two trays will fit all this meat in there? I got this much meat left, so. No, I don't think. No, I don't think I need three trays. Don't worry, I have another tray, so. This is the second tray. Third tray. Wash my hands. Touching meat or anything, make sure it's nice and clean. Like whatever you use, don't use the same hand. So, put some EVO on it. This is my third time. Put the EVO off. So you can just rub it. Or you can put cookies like cookie paper, like you know, it's wrapped baking paper. You can use that to squeeze it. Come here. All of them should fit in here. Comment down below if you guys think all this will fit or we need another shirt. Check out the size of the meat, like the very good sticks. And I'm gonna wrap it with foil paper. And then we take it off later on to just give a little bit color to it. Whatever your sauces you have, just put it on the top. See, I have my oven preheated to 400, so and I'm gonna reduce it later on to 350, like what 30 minutes. You give it, so that's it. That's how you do it. Okay, let's see all the spices on it and stuff. So let me know what do you guys think. Thanks and enjoy and share my video on cooking. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a great day.